talk about corporate deals uh, for Nigeria and pretty much every nation around the world. The availability of capital through deal making helps to attract foreign investors, lenders and fund providers, which has a positive effect on the respective economies. A deal book is a report by Naira Metrics, a leading financial information and intelligence portal in Nigeria that provides an overview of corporate deals officially announced uh, in Nigeria in 2022 from publicly available data. Owade Ahime, who is a member of the Naira Metrics editorial board and an author, has been on the show before, he joins us again. I should be saying Happy New Year. Thanks. Same <laughs> to you. Thanks Same for joining to you, us. Well. Good to be here again. Good to have you. Good to have you. I have so much to discuss on this report. So I think starting with, I think, what, $5.7 billion uh, worth of deals closed. Uh, how important is, I guess, corporate deals to the lifeblood of the economy. If you look at what, what this, if you can talk about what this report has captured. Okay, so, so, so basically what, what, what you see is that corporate deals are so important to the life, um, to the economy of Nigeria as a whole. Yeah. Um, this report just brings about to you how many deals came in, how much money mm. inflowed into Nigeria. Oh, we need the money. Um, and we need the money, <laughs> like you continue to say, and I agree with you. So it shows 320 deals, yeah. 5.7 billion dollars about 2.41 trillion yeah and which just goes to show you that nigeria is still a good haven for investors yeah um 280 deals were in respect of expansions mm. but what what really catches me is that people still believe in in things like commercial paper yeah some about nine deals were with respect to equity mm -hmm. um though the stock market hasn't really been um as, um, as buoyant as, as we would like yeah. but it just goes to tell you that people still believe that they can put some money into equity yeah. restructure their businesses mm. and improve on how businesses will be and that for me is 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 something that we all have to look at this um deals book is something that everybody should go on and it's free yeah just go onto the naira uh, metrics website and, and check it out and and subscribe to it yeah. but it just goes to show you how important it is for monies to inflow and the amount of monies that we know Nigeria can attract once we we just get the right so certain things need to be yeah, in so place. The right things in place. Well, what, what do you make of the growth? I guess in volume, um, I think eighty percent climb. You mentioned the three hundred. I think it was one hundred seventy-seven deals or so. Yeah, so eighty percent in in, 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 in twenty twenty-one. Yeah, but the value dropped by about thirty-five percent. How does one interpret that divergence? Okay, so there, 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 there are two things you can look at. So yeah. the growth is in terms of the fact that there are more places that you can put your money. Mm. Um, in terms of the value, generally across the world last year, we know that there was a drop in, in a slight drop in, in terms of venture capitalists and those looking for where to put the right, right amount of money. Yeah. And then when you look at Nigeria, because also you're transitioning, mm. everybody has to be very careful in terms of, oh, let's see what the new administration is. Um, how is a pre-election year going to go? Yeah. Um, so you're waiting, sitting down there, observing and seeing how we go so that you can plan for 2023, which I think, in my opinion, um, second half of 2023 will be humongous. Okay. Uh, investors looking at opportunities. And, and let me just reel out something quick. Yeah. Um, it, it, about 75% of the deals were for startups. Actually, yes. In fact, I did want... Yeah, thank you. Let's hop into the startups. Exactly. 75%, 75% yeah, 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 yeah. 1.08 um, billion dollars. Yeah. $295 million of that goes into sectors that we really haven't been thinking about. Mm -hmm. HR, EduTech, yeah. transport and logistics, mm. health tech, Agric. Um, in fact, Agric had over $140 million in investment. Yeah. And, and it's all technology yeah. and entertainment. Large chunk of entertainment, over $50 million in entertainment. Yeah. Now, these are the things that are going to help drive a number of of, of um, indices mm -hmm. out of where we are today. Yeah. New areas built driven by technology. So let me give you a, a, a quick example as, as in health. Yeah. When you can link the NHS system, you can link it to um, the NIN and link it to a number of things. So it just goes to show you the huge opportunities that we have from tech. And the number of people in Nigeria, 200 million people, yeah. 200 million Nigerians who actually have an NIN. So you can imagine the database that which you can play with in mm. terms of um, whether it's HR, Jakba. Right. Everybody has been shouting about Jakba, but yeah. you have the opportunity to develop new people mm. in these areas. Yeah. In in whether it's 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 new talent are forever coming aboard. So investments in areas like HR, like EduTech, mm. where education now, how many million Nigerians are out of school? Right. And Twenty according to the yeah, to, according to, to, to the, yeah, to yeah. And so you can, yeah, so you can imagine where you have um, just investments in 
this kind of um, um, areas, education technology, mm. where I don't have to, I don't need to have a, 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 a tablet, but yeah. you could create places where those out of school could be at every particular point in time to get an education without physically having having those those tutors with them. Great stuff. And startups, again, that 75% figure is connected to all this. So and that brings us back to the, the topic of this enabling business environment to allow these startups to thrive. Because those, this, what Narametrics has captured here is the deals coming in for the startups. So that's, you, you attracted the money. Yes. But that money has to come into the startups. They take the money and then they, they now have to grow. They now have to maneuver the environment. So, so how the, important is the environment? So the, so the good thing is that there's a startup act. Right. right. Well, so, it been, it's not been implemented well, yet, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, but, right, but at this time, it's yeah. been signed. Fair so enough. So it's become a law. Right. Now, the players, and the good thing for me about that was that everybody sat down on, in one room, back and forth, mm. you know, and agreed to how they think the enabling environment should work. Yeah. Whoever, whichever, um, whoever um, government is in or administration is in power mm. from May 29, should first and foremost look at that. And like I gave you a few examples of areas that I do think, and in Nairometrics, I remember the last time um, I think myself and Go had that discussion. These are mm. critical areas that we could, we would see, we should see investment in from startups. Transport is one. Transport is huge. It's huge and huge. We had an entire segment on Lagos transport yesterday. You're, yeah, you're, you're yeah. just talking about Lagos. Yeah. I'm talking about the, the whole country. The whole country, right. So right. if you can set up the network, are you with me? And invest in the network of how you can hook up the whole country. Mm. And I can go from Lagos to Abuja and still use the same means right. to pay for a bus. Right. Then you can imagine what kind, the kind of things the financial institutions will be, will be well, playing well, with. Well, can I ask you something? We, we keep... We keep Talking about the potential, 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 potential. When, when is when is all this going to be realized? Well, so you know, I, I think we haven't. I think last time we we had a discussion was yeah. sometimes was the end of last year when we we, we met somewhere along our road. Right. We're talking about the pre-election. We're talking for almost an hour on the side yes. of the street. On the side of the street. <laughs> right. And one of the things I told you then, yeah. uh, irrespective of who wins the 2023 election, I see. I see, con uh, I see those who are contesting in an election that believe that, one, Nigeria needs to move forward. Mm -hmm. Tech is very important. Yeah. Investment in that area is really important, whether it's for security or is financial or is healthcare or is education. And, and this I see. And that's why I, I tell you, I see second half of Nigeria as a boom. I do. Okay, let, let me ask you this. Um, what do you make of the lamentations that we've got billionaires in this country? Because a lot of the, what's in, captured in this narrow metrics deal book is, you know, foreign funds coming in, which is great, right? The billionaires here supporting more startups. Well, maybe, maybe so I, I really don't know about how much data we have al mm. along that side. Yeah. But like I also say, and I continue to, aside from those bringing in money from outside, yeah. And, and, and I continue to maintain, and this is something we've maintained for a long time, um, collaborations become a major part of business. Yeah. So billionaires funding um, startups or looking for opportunities with startups, you start looking at how do you collaborate with startups to build the system that you currently have, mm. to improve on them and create that enabling environment for those within the um, um, middle and bottom strata of, of the economy to latch onto the opportunities. Remember, mm. today's child is tomorrow's customer. Indeed, indeed. Uh, deal frequency, the seed um, series funding, I showed that there was, there was a healthier number there. Yeah. Uh, how important is, I mean, when we look at access to, uh, to capital, so there it is, yeah, most popular seed series funding, yeah. 120 deals, yeah. over a billion dollars, yeah. a value of 435, uh, billion 53 era. billion era. Yeah, so as far as access to capital, a diverse source of access to capital, that, that's important for startups here. Yeah, so, so the first thing is, the seed and the series mm. becomes the quickest way to get the money. Yeah. And in building the system to start to make you grow. Mm. And as you go on, you find out that, like I said, the capital market is really not, not working the way it should. Yeah. And what you see with a number of startups is in a space of two to three years, they start looking at how they, they go into the markets and, mm. and, and, and shoot out. But also, the other thing for me is how do you collaborate? And when you talk about the billionaires in these countries, these are the kind of things that you look at. How do you invest in a startup mm. that collaborates with you, helps you grow your business, uh, and create the opportunity for that startup to go into the market and raise additional funds, yeah. um, whether it's debt, whether it's equity. Uh, and then continue on that path. Like we said, transportation, 
huge, massive area that we have, we've not even scratched the surface. We've not, I don't know what you're talking about scratching the surface. We've not even seen anything <laughs> that we're talking about scratching the surface. So these are opportunities that we have. Yeah. But seed funding, mm. series funding, and series because of the fact that I start from the seed, I move on, and on, on, you know, over a period of time to see how much it can grow. And once you upscale to that point, then I'm sure we'll be able to get additional investments in. You mentioned debt and equity. On the debt side, what do we do about the exorbitantly high levels of interest rates that businesses who have to go and get loans and so on are being strangled by that? You know, I mean, is that a policy thing to where you have to try and bring that, that down going forward? Yeah, so it has to be a policy thing. First and foremost, um, inflation is, is killing everybody. Mm. And that's why you see over the last six months, the rates at which the NPR has gone up is is uh, more ago just to try and match the inflation rates, which will never happen. Um, however, um, debt becomes important mm. where you're able to lock down early on rates that could help you in the long run. So yeah. you find out that um, you, you have mostly fixed debt um, investments and they believe in the fact that you, know, you can grow that business and, and, and what's it called. And the beauty about debt is if I put in debt, I can actually change it to equity. Yeah. So okay. that, that also gives you some leeway to manage that position. What about the legal system and the importance of being able to follow through? No, no, that's a great, that's a great question. Mm -hmm. um, this 5.7 billion mm -hmm. is not just monies that go into the businesses <laughs> themselves. They are consultants, right. finance, legal. Yeah. And for me, I think it just continues to build the capacity of Nigerian um, system yeah. in terms of um, whether it's finance and, and accounting, whether it's business and governance structure, mm. legal, you, not, you need to start to understand better the businesses, where they play, how they play, what kind of agreements you need to put in place. So huge opportunities I see in Nigeria. Yeah. Do book, go on to the Narametrics website, download it. And check it out. And, and understand better how deals and those who participated and those who participate just in case you want to get money. Final question for you, less than a minute to go. Um, so we've seen the growth in terms of volume 2022-2021. When Naira Metrics does this again for uh, 2023 versus 2022, will, you, will the election have slowed things down or based on the boom you are seeing in the second half, that will take the numbers up? I guess, uh, um, so first quarter, um, part of second quarter, yeah, it would, it might, it might, not necessarily, but it might just even out a bit. Yeah. But I see, I see the investments coming in the third quarter, mm. fourth quarter, and towards um, looking at the potentials of, of, of 20, second half of 2023 into 2024 when the administration, whoever then mm. becomes the president of Nigeria yep. in terms of the administration of Nigeria, um, drives his um, agenda. agenda and manifesto based on all the things that have been promised. The first thing is subsidies. If their subsidies will be removed uh, by uh, you, June, you know, then you, you, will... you know I'm an advocate of removing exactly. subsidies. Exactly. So we'll see how we things go. That bullet. Fascinating year ahead. Owade uh, Himi, a member of the Naira Metrics Editorial Board. Thank you for taking us through this great data set of deals for corporate uh, Nigeria. And thank you for always having me. Fantastic stuff.